going on, Falcon fan? It's your boy Ricundo coming at you with another video. So today, this is going to be my last guy that I highlight before the 2022 NFL Draft. That's happened on Thursday. Um, I do plan to give my last final mock. So guys, please look out for that. So before we go ahead and get into this last guy, Yusef Corker from our safety out of Kentucky. Go ahead and please subscribe to the channel. Please hit notification bell so you know when I drop another video. Please hit the like button so I know you like to hear what I talk about. Then please share my video throughout the YouTube universe so more people can hear, come in and hear me talk about these Atlanta Falcons. So like I said, I'm going to talk about Yusef Corker safety out of Kentucky. So definitely, definitely, definitely this guy is really not on anyone's radar um, but he, he he is a senior four-year senior out of um, Kentucky a safety who I think fits well with the Falcon scheme he's a um, too high safety he can play um, that back safety spot if needed he's he's a great tackler he comes up he, he's physical he loves he loves to hit um, some of the weaknesses that um, they talked about was he, he does miss tackle but he's it he is instinctive um, he he really really know how to go get the ball when it's up in the air. So this guy, I really believe that he could be a good pick, maybe round in the fifth or sixth round. Um, I think that's the projections they got for him. But a, a senior, a good depth piece um, that could definitely find his his way into the NFL. Um, our safety room is pretty pretty good. We're still not sure um, how good Richie Grant's going to be. Hopefully, he can actually um, take a step from year one to year two this year. Um, same thing with Jalen Hawkins. Um, see if they can actually get the starting nod. Of course, you know, they, they, they brought back um, Harris this, this year. So, um, it's going to be interesting to see who's actually going to get, get the starting safety positions. Uh, we also brought in D. Marlowe. Um, Tess Tabar, another guy that we, we could actually be looking at as safety as a depth piece. But um, I think the Falcons really need to look into the draft. Um, of course, these are not none of the guys up at the top like a Kyle Hamilton, a, um, a Nix, a, a Joseph, um, a Lucene, any of those guys up there. So if they don't pick any of those guys at the top, um, a, a great depth piece. That uh, we could definitely be looking at in the, in the later rounds. Like I said, uh, fifth round, maybe even the sixth round pick. Yusuf Corker um, could be really surprised some guys. Um, go look at the highlights. Um, of course, and, and you look at highlight everything, you're always going to just see the best play that these guys make. Which is understandable because it's their highlight tape. But um, you do have to go and make sure you actually look at some of the game film and see. Uh, some of the weakness that, weaknesses that these guys be talking about when they be doing their projections and their scouting on um, on players. Um, however, from what I've seen, like I said, I think he would be a great fit because he fits perfectly in what Dean Pease want to do. Um, look at his, his stats here. Um, he had 46 solo tackles, 82 overall. Of course, he had um, eight pass defenses. I think he had a sack you know, in 2021 as well. So, like I said, he, he does have the knack for getting to the ball. Um, eight pass defenses is pretty good for a safety. Um, that means he gets his hands on the ball um, and con contested coverages. Um, like I said, his instincts, he has the instincts. If you go look at his film, he does have the instincts to actually read and react pretty quick. Um, some of the things that he, he really need to do, make sure he he he, he um break down when he get ready to tackle. Um, that could be just because, like I said, he's a physical guy, which is a good thing. Um, you want to be physical. You want your safety to be physical. He does come down in the box and he hit um, to stop the run. So, like I said, this would be a good pickup for the Atlanta Falcons. Um, but we always need to be looking for depth in all our positions. Um, safety is one of them because we, we really don't know what we got. We still got some young guys out there. Um, it's going to be interesting to see if they're actually going to be able to get their chance this year. Um, see if they hold up. Hawkins and um, Richard Grant. And then we'll see Harris being the backup. Of course, like I said, we got Dean Marlowe. Um, T. 
past Tabar. So if we have, if we bring somebody like Yusuf Kirkoran um, to compete for one of those spots, um, that'd be great. Fifth round, sixth round pick coming in. Um, some people had his projection. He was like the 16 safety uh, on their projection. So like I said, um, he's not highly um, touted by in some um, in some scouting rooms, um, but you never know. Um, just the reason I highlight this guy is because the Falcons did talk to him at the Senior Bowl. So, um, and what I tried to do doing this this little highlight series is actually um, highlight guys that the Falcons did talk to, may have may have some interest in. And tomorrow, what I probably would do is go go ahead and give you guys the list of guys that they actually um, had on their 30, 30 day visit. I mean. 30 uh, player visits because you know each team is allowed to have 30 players come in and do a visit um of course that's not all the players they can talk to of course they can talk players now especially with the the virtual um interviews that you have you can actually they can actually fly out to see guys i'm pretty sure they probably went to a couple of guys pro days as well so um but i'm going to highlight some of the guys that um, the falcons actually talk to um in some of the position needs that we have so Look out for that video um, tomorrow. But like I said, this is the last guy I'm going to highlight before we get into the 2022 draft. I will get my final mock draft and then we just have to sit and wait and see what happens. So, guys, that's all I have. Please go ahead and check out Yusuf Corker. And at the end of the day, um, it's really going to be interesting to see about all these guys that I highlighted. See if the Falcons actually pull the trigger on any of them. Um, if they just pull on one, I, I'll be like, hey. So, that'd be a good thing. But um, um, I think all any all these guys that I did highlight can be dip pieces for the Atlanta Falcons. Could contribute. And you never know. When, you, when guys get picked in the later rounds, uh, could be some dimes in the rough. I.e. Tom Brady. Um, I.e. Grady Jarrett. Um, so many guys that get picked late in the round um, get because they look they, they feel like they was overlooked. They they come into this league and shine, and they just need to be you know to hone their skills, getting the right getting the right um culture, getting the right organizations, and they take off. So um, one of these guys that I highlighted, hopefully that could be the case if the Falcons decide to pick them. And this upcoming draft. So, guys, like I said, that's all I have. You let me know. Be on the lookout on that video tomorrow. And look out for my final draft as well. And this is your boy Ricundo coming back at you with another video. Peace.